Hey everybody, welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock songs on the Mando. Classic rock songs like this one, Bad Moon Rising by CCR, Credence Clearwater Revival, going all the way back to the late 1960s, 1969 in fact, for one of their biggest songs. Again, a song that works really well on the mandolin. My name is Mike DeJong, and yes, I am broadcasting on this channel from Tokyo, Japan, and I hope you enjoy this lesson. I'm gonna teach you how to play um, this, uh, well, it's a little bit of a difficult song on the mandolin. That opening lick is a little bit tricky, but once you get it, it's a lot of fun. The rest of the song's pretty easy. It's only three chords from that point on. But that opening riff requires, well, it's almost like a little bit of a bluegrass technique there. I'll show you what that is all about once we zoom in. But first, uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so by hitting that little red button down there on the right hand lower part of the screen. It really helps me to continue producing videos uh, like this one on RPM. Also, like the video if you can down below and leave some comments if you feel like it about this video or any other songs that you might want me to do. So without waiting any longer, let's dive into the late 1960s and Bad Moon Rising by CCR for Mandolin. The main chords to this song, let's start off with that, are D to A, G, D. All right, D, A, G, D. D, A, G, D. All right, so over those chords, and, and I'm using these more closed voicings in this one. You could play it with open voicings. I find that for this song, you really need more of a staccato sort of sound. So you need to be able to cut off those chords, to chop those chords a bit. So play that D voicing here, right? Which is starting at the second fret of the G string, right there, that's an A note. Then you've got the F sharp note, which is the fourth fret of the D string. And then you got the high D root here, fifth fret of the A, uh, the A string, so, right, chop it. And then you can chop these voicings as well for the A chord, A, G, D. So that A voicing is here. It's on the sixth fret of the G string, right? Sixth fret of the G string. And then you've got the seventh fret of the D string and the fourth fret up here on the A. So that's an A chord. You just shift that whole uh, voicing down two, two frets, and you got a G chord there, right? So here it is. Okay, so let's look at that little riff that he does near the beginning of the song. Um, really cool little sort of country, bluegrassy kind of lick on the guitar done by John Fogarty, and it works really nicely on the mandolin too. So off the D chord, and it's the reason that I use this de-voicing, because you can really do this riff uh, simply from here. So. so the lick goes. All right, so what is that lick? Well, it's a D down to the, the D at the fifth fret of the A string down to the second fret, which is a B note, and then the open A, so, and he, he kind of lingers a little bit longer on that D note. Right, and then I hammer it here, so. So what's that? Well, you're going from the F right here, third fret on the D string, to the F sharp, Right, a nice little bluegrassy lick there. From the flatted third, which is the F, to the natural third, which is the F sharp in the key of D, right? You're in the key of D, so. So you hammer, you go. So from F to F sharp to A, and then B, A again, and then just hammer that last little lick. Now, I'm not sure if John Fogarty hammers the F sharp like that or the F natural, but it, either way, it, I, I don't think it really matters that much which one you do. I choose to do it off the F sharp, so like that. 
And the only other part that you really have to worry about in this song is, uh, I guess, the, uh, the the chorus part, which goes. All right, so what are those chords? Well, once again, G, back to D, then to A, G, a D. And with this uh, D voicing, I like to give it a little of, the, of that kind of spice, which is kind of a D add nine spice here. When you pull your ring finger off that voicing, it gives you that sort of thing. You can go. That's a nice little little sound there that perhaps is a little bit more unique to the mandolin for this song, but sounds really cool in this riff. So one more time, the chorus. Now for the guitar solo, you could work around those chorus chords and you could add a few little licks here from the mando that are similar to what he does on the guitar. That signature riff, he starts off with that in the guitar solo. Then he goes to a G, back to D, and then A. So what did I do there on the A and the G? Well, I just I just reached my pinky over to grab that one extra fret just above the root, which makes it, again, makes it sort of a ninth voicing here. And that's similar to what he does on the guitar version uh, of the original track. He does that in the guitar solo. So. One more time, the solo. And that was Bad Moon Rising by CCR for Mandolin. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you uh, get a lot out of it and learn to play this song. It will impress your friends if you can do that opening riff on the mandolin. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks very much for subscribing and tuning in to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin. If you haven't subscribed already, please do me a favor and do so by hitting that little red button down below. It really helps me to continue with this website. Once again, from Tokyo, Japan, thanks very much for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin.